Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today I have a request that came through on Instagram. Well, I have many requests, but we're gonna focus on this one today. In particular, the guy says, my hands are starting to get hurt. I have pain and sometimes swelling in my knuckles and my wrists hurt due to which I'm having to do lighter, shorter sessions. And he goes on to say he cannot hit the bag or pads full force because it hurts so much. Now, you guys are in luck if you have issues with your hands. I have also had these issues in the past and I have many tips that help me get back to the point where I could hit pads without having sore knuckles or without having damaged wrists. So today for you, I have a number of tips to take care of your hands. If you guys have had hand pain before, you know it is awful. It makes it very disappointing to go into a training session because you cannot put your all into it. You're constantly holding back. Plus, walking around with knuckle pain, like every time you make a fist, your knuckles hurt, or when you go to pick up something, your wrist has this shooting pain in it. None of it is fun. So today, let's go through all these tips, many of which people at gyms and coaches don't bother teaching you, or maybe they just don't know them. I'm not sure what's happening in this area, but throughout the years, I basically had to create many of the solutions myself because nobody was telling me how to take care of my hands. So the first thing I wanna walk you through, something, let me grab this, something that has made a world of difference in my knuckle pain is very simply taking a pool noodle, chopping off a little piece. You guys might not be able to see it really in full force here, but you can see the color. I took a little chunk of a pool noodle. I wrap tape around it so I can place this under my hand wrap. It stays in position and then I can wrap my hands and have this extra cushion to protect the knuckle. I'm not kidding you guys. I've had points where I could not do pad work with my right hand because every time I threw it, it hurt so bad. And then I went, okay, what if I put some extra protection on it? I was not having luck with other ideas which I had before this foam, but the pool noodle, you can go to any local hardware store, somewhere like that, just pick up a noodle that kids bounce around in the pool with, cut a little chunk off, place it right on top of your knuckle, tape around a couple times, make sure it's secure, it's gonna hold in place. I used this for about two or three years and I have not had to use it for the last three or four because my knuckles just got better and stronger, less injured, and then as a result, I don't have to use it. But I've had this in my cupboard for the last three or four years, just in case I need to bust it out again. Now, one of the other ways that I've constantly damaged my knuckles is using the wrong gloves. And what I want you guys to do, what I want you to keep in mind, is that you know, if I grab, let's say this glove here, and I throw it on, and I go to a training session, and I finish, and I'm going, oh my gosh, my knuckles, my knuckles are damaged from hitting and hitting and hitting. Keep in mind that every glove has a slightly different design to it, a slightly different angle. So what I found throughout the years is experimenting that doesn't mean you have to go and buy 10 pairs of gloves, but just ask somebody at the gym. You see somebody with a pair of twins. You go, oh, can I try those? You see somebody with a pair of Fairtex. Oh, can I try those on the bag? You try out some Hayabusa. You try out all the different brands, and I guarantee you one is going to be much better for your hand shape, your hand style, than the others. Using this approach, going from glove to glove to glove, trying out different brands, trying out different models within each brand has really helped me dial in the number one glove for me. I'm not even gonna bother recommending it because it's not gonna be the ideal glove for all of you guys. Really what you have to do, like I said, is just wander around the gym, ask somebody, can I try your gloves on for a round on the bag? You'll hit the bag and you'll either notice right away, oh my gosh, my knuckles are still hurting or they're hurting more than normal, or you'll go, ooh, this glove, actually works for me. And this is the same with pretty much anything in life, right? I mean, if we go shoe shopping for our running shoes, we don't just go in and buy the first shoe we see, we go in and we test them out. And a lot of times they'll tell you like, take, take a run, go around the block, do a couple laps. And you do that with three or four different types of shoes. But we don't think of that with gloves. We just put the gloves on and think, oh, okay, I'm just gonna hit and these should be great. No, they're all a little bit different. They're all designed different. Take the time, try out different brands, different models, different varieties, and find the one that works best for you. And then just keep using it over and over and over. And I would suggest if you find a glove you really like, you buy two or three pairs so that when your initial pair, the first one that you utilize breaks down, you have a backup pair and then another one because it's very disappointing when you go to buy a glove that works for you a second time and they're not making it anymore. Before we move on to my next point, if you're enjoying the video, if you appreciate the episode, please give it a like. 
and let's move on. Next up, I want to talk about wrist injuries. Now, I had very, very damaged wrists about a decade ago. So much so that when I went to a training camp in Ontario, out of town for me, I was missing, I actually think it was my left hook, I was not able to throw the left hand at all. And when you're not able to throw a technique, it's really gonna impair your ability to train properly. So first of all, what was suggested to me was double wrap. Take one wrap, do it, second wrap, go over. And for me, I'm gonna say no, this does not work. In my opinion, I'm not gonna suggest it to you. What I will suggest to you, and what has worked for me now, is taking a little bit of hockey tape. And that's a very inexpensive tool that you can utilize. Before you start wrapping, take some hockey tape and put it right over your wrist. You do one, two, three, maybe four rotations around. So basically, when you go to move your wrist, that's the range of motion you have. You can hardly move it that way, and same thing this way, you can hardly move it that way. Then from there, go about and start doing your normal wrapping job. Once you finish, it feels like you've triple wrapped your hand, except you don't have all this bulk. And in my opinion, you're not cutting off the circulation. I found when I double wrapped, the circulation got a little bit cut off. Maybe I just did it too tight. And also the bulk was way too much to comfortably get my hand in the glove and not put extra pressure on the knuckles. When I double wrapped, I found there was too much pressure. So couple little strips of hockey tape around the wrist and boom, my wrists now are so much better. I hardly have any pain. Even when I'm in full training camp, maybe once a camp, I get a little tweak, a little bit of pain as opposed to before where it was constant pain all the time. Now, the next thing that we can focus on as we already talked about with boxing gloves, you don't want to just put on one boxing glove and assume it's right for you. Well, same idea when you're wrapping your wrists. You don't want somebody to teach you only one form of wrapping your wrists and then think that's the only way to do it. There are many ways to wrap your wrist, and I've come up with my own technique throughout the years which works best for me. Now, I'm gonna link my favorite technique, but keep in mind, you might go through, you might try it, and you might go, no, this isn't for me. Experiment, there are so many different things you can do. I mean, you can put the emphasis down on the wrist. You can put more up here. You can start doing little transitions where you come in between the fingers to provide more support this direction. There's so many things we can do, providing support for the thumb, which a lot of people don't do. You have to do it all, try it out, and see what works for you. But with the video that I've provided for you, it'll give you good insight into what I prefer to do and maybe that'll help you in the long run. And the final thing I want you guys to keep in mind is if you hit something super hard, like if I put on a pair of gloves and I go over to a concrete wall and I start punching it, damage is going to incur that much faster. So what you can think of is how hard are the pads I'm hitting? How hard is the bag I'm hitting? And very often when we get a new pair of pads, especially if they're ones from Thailand I've seen before, the things are almost like concrete. They're so hard, especially if they're not broken in. So play around with different pads. And when you go to the bag, think, okay, how hard is this bag? If it's one of the really, really hard ones, yes, you're gonna have more impact, more damage on those knuckles. And it'll be that much more likely if it's a super heavy bag that you're not gonna get out without a wrist injury. If you hit a bag and your hand sinks a little bit, it's gonna protect it a little more. If it's a light bag and you hit it and it moves, you're gonna be protected more. But if you're hitting a 300 pound bag that's like concrete, you're gonna get damaged. So be very aware of that because I don't think everybody thinks about it and it's very important right down to even the pad work. And those guys are my five tips for you today. I hope these make a world of difference in your knuckle pain, your wrist pain, your ability for you to get in there and throw shots as hard as you want without having that pain constantly reoccurring. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please make sure you share it with somebody out there. If you haven't already, give the video a like. Of course, get subscribed. Train hard, guys. I'll see you back here soon for another video.